This is big, breaking, emergency news. Military bases are on high alert right now, and they have raised the security level as well. They have sent home personnel, and they're bracing for something big to happen. We also have mobile bunker units being deployed as well, right? They're setting up these mobile bunkers all over the place and preparing. And travel alerts are also being issued too. So we're going to get into all this stuff really quick, guys. Please just hit it up for me down there. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I'm posting multiple videos a day keeping you guys updated on all this big, urgent news that's happening. All right, so... Lots of news that's breaking right now. NATO and the U.S. military are on high alert. And we have lots of escalations happening throughout the world right now, right? So this is big. They're getting mobile bunkers deployed too, right? Military bases are on high alert. And we keep seeing these attacks and hits to our military bases, all right? There's been multiple ones just in the past week. There was in Texas, all right? There were multiple different shootings that happened at a military base in Texas just last week that I broke and covered. And they came back to the base twice, all right? They shot at the base twice at the same location. So they're testing, they're probing, and they're potentially getting ready for something big. And that's what military bases are warning of right now, right? And we also saw this other event where they were threatening the water supply, all right? They sabotaged the water supply at a NATO military base in Germany, all right? This was the Gillenkirchen NATO military base, all right? And this is one of their main command bases for NATO and they were telling people in the entire region to not drink the water tens of thousands of people and they're saying that the water had potentially been sabotaged and something even added to the water right and during that event there were people arrested there were individuals arrested in the region who were quote acting suspicious right so Lots of things are going on, right? We're in a very high overt situation and they just raised the security readiness level as well. So this is big, all right? They're building mobile bunkers, deploying them. And this is why you should be getting prepared, getting ready, all right? If you guys are new to the channel, I have... A homestead myself all right i have my own preps and my own homestead and my own chickens and gardens that i am working on to be prepared just in case any of these things pop off right so be prepared be ready be working on these things all right so this is what's happening currently we are having mobile bunkers being deployed right now in parts of russia all right, it says here, Russia is installing concrete shelters in the Kursk region as Ukraine expands its, its offensive. All right, so they're deploying and building these mobile bunker units all over the Kursk Oblast. This is now happening inside of Russia. All right, it says, quote, today, we begin to install reinforced concrete shelters in Kursk. On my instructions, the Kursk City Administration identified key points for placing concrete modular shelters in crowded places. All right. That is what the Kursk acting governor said in a statement. So they are now building these mobile bunkers all throughout the region and the oblast. So this is a major escalation, right? This is happening in Russia. This isn't happening in Ukraine, right? Where that's been the situation the past few years where they've mostly been on the defense. Now Russia is on the defense and Russia is ordering bunkers to be built, right? So this is a major escalation for this part of the world, right? And the U.S. 
and NATO commanders are directly involved and inside of Ukraine right now calling a lot of the shots okay we also have NATO air bases are on high alert they just raised the security readiness level for the Gillenkirchen air base all right this is the same one that had the water sabotaged as well too I made a whole video on that last week too how the water was being potentially poisoned and contaminated and they were telling people not to drink it the entire region all right and they found holes digging to the water pipes potentially messing with them so nato airbase gillenkirchen in western germany which is the main base for nato's fleet of e3 century early warning and control aircraft has which are the awacs aircraft all right it's nato's main air base in eastern europe and it says has reportedly been ordered to a high level of security readiness with non-mission essential staff being told to quote leave the base all right so they're sending home all non-essential staff and they're on a high level of security readiness and they're saying that there's some type of threat right they're being very vague but they're saying that there is some type of threat targeting this gillenkirchen airbase currently right now right so there is some speculation maybe it's some type of another sabotage event potentially of the critical infrastructure but it doesn't really make sense to send home non-mission essential staff doesn't really make sense to tell them to leave if it's just going to be like a power outage or a water failure they would most likely keep these staff here and make them work even harder all right to make up for it and probably need even more people right if they anticipated something like that so they could be potentially anticipating some type of physical attack on the military base all right potentially even some type of drone attack it's been speculated there's no confirmation on this they haven't given any official statement but there's been speculation that it could potentially be some type of drone event they are anticipating and have intel on or maybe even potentially some type of terror event as well they could have some type of intel that there could be a terror attack on this military base right so that's what's going on nato military bases on high alert on a high level of security readiness right now and they just had sabotage at this exact base just last week there's also been a travel alert issued as well by china all right it says the chinese foreign ministry has ordered its citizens in lebanon to depart as soon as possible due to heightened tensions in the region all right so china is warning its citizens to get out of the middle east get out of lebanon and be ready all right there's also been flights canceled to this region as well american airlines canceled flights until april 2025 it is being reported canceled all flights to and from israel all right so a lot of the infrastructure to this region is shutting down and they're telling people to leave before they can't get out india has also shut down flights air india has shut down flights to and from israel and surrounding countries as well all right so china has issued this travel alert and we also have reports coming out as well it says since this morning the israeli air force has launched several helicopter and airstrikes on hezbollah targets in southern lebanon including against a weapons depot near the town of jebain and also other military infrastructure right so that's what's being reported that israel is striking lebanon earlier today so that's probably why china is warning as well to get out of this region because citizens could be caught up in the misfire in the mishap 
And it is not looking good for this part of the world in the Middle East. We are not seeing a good sign for negotiations that are happening as well, right? Negotiations are collapsing, ceasefire negotiations between Israel and Hamas, right? And other countries are involved as well, too. Negotiations are deteriorating. We were getting reports a few days ago and last week from the Biden administration that things were going good and they had high hopes that these negotiations were going to go through. But that's kind of something that they have to say, right? Something that they have to they have to be positive about it. They can't just preemptively say that they think it's going to collapse because then it's not going to work, right? So they've been saying that they're going to get these negotiations, but it seems like they are falling apart again, all right? It says the ongoing round of ceasefire and hostage negotiations are reportedly on the verge of collapse with both Egypt and Qatar telling the United States that there's almost no chance that Hamas will agree to the current deal. It says, in addition to this, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu is refusing any kind of compromise regarding the Philadelphia and Netzarim corridors and the Gaza Strip, which he states will remain under the control of Israeli forces to prevent another October situation. All right, so that is the current update on ceasefire here as well, too. So it doesn't look like tensions will be brought down anytime soon. And we are still waiting on a major attack from Iran right now as well, too. All right, that's kind of been put on the back burner. But I think that could potentially be a part of their strategy is that they are waiting till things burn off lay low for a while and then pop back up right once the pressure once people are looking another direction once everyone's kind of moved on and is not anticipating this attack anymore i think we could see the attack then right so it could even be weeks from now a month from now two months from now three months from now right they are this is a conflict where both sides do not forget Right? Both sides do not forget what has happened, and they could respond years later for something and say it was for this event that happened back then. Right, So be on the lookout for that, too. That could happen at any time, and I think it's going to catch us off guard. Right? They're going to wait until all the intel channels... And they might have even been putting out fake intel recently to see who is leaking, right? To see who's a leaker. When we kept getting these dates, they're like, oh, it's going to happen in 24 hours, 40 hours, it's about to happen. They might have been putting out fake signals and messages. Iran might have been putting out fake signals to weed out who is giving away the intel on the inside because they definitely have people on the inside that are sabotaging and coordinating with the Israeli government, right? That's how these assassination plots were able to happen inside of Iran, right? And inside of their cities is there's coordination going on and they actually arrested one of their top military personnel just a few weeks ago as well right right after these assassinations happened of top hamas commanders right so i think potentially they've been trying to weed out the people behind the scenes and figure out who is doing this and then make their move right and also wait for the pressure to get off when people are not thinking about it anymore all right so let me know what you guys think down below all right please hit it up for me down there to help get this warning out i appreciate that hope you guys are getting prepared getting ready and staying safe all right you need to be 
growing your own food. That's what we're working on here. We we got so many eggs, we don't even know what to do with, right? You need to be growing your own gardens, right? Having your own supply chains, creating your own supply chains locally in your own backyard and locally. People that you know create these supply chains so you're insulated, right? If anything pops off, we have any major disruptions going on around the world. This is what happens, right? During these wars, that's a major part of it is the supply chain trade. All these things are disrupted. And that's part of the reason why we've seen prices increase so much the past few years. It's due to these wars that have been happening, right? And if you have your own supply chains you're insulated from that so build these things now get prepared now hope you guys have big blessings for your life for your family and i hope you have a big old blessed day